to my channel. So today we'll be doing a hair tutorial on the ever so famous and well known space buns. Um, this is something I've been seeing all social media and I figured why not just do a video of my own. So I'm going to show you three ways to get them, super easy ways, and then yeah. So keep on watching and we'll get into it. Hey guys, okay, so first off I'm going to start off with using my dry shampoo. Today I'm actually using Wella's Dry Me Dry Shampoo. This stuff is probably one of my favorites. I am also using a very dirty wet brush, a end of a tail comb, and then my bobby pins. And I'm going to start off with separating my hair into two different sections with the tail comb. Like the end of it. And I'm just going straight all the way back. Nothing says you need a haircut like, or your hair colored like looking at a camera. Wow. But honestly what I'm doing here is I'm just pulling it up and I'm just going to place it. Um, with these looks it's really easy. You don't have to use hair ties in them. Sometimes I feel like hair ties take up too much of the room in the look so it's kind of hard to achieve what you're wanting. But they're super easy to just twist them up, grab your bobby pins, and then just pin them in place. I feel like it works a lot easier. It looks a lot nicer. You can kind of customize the way you want it to look as opposed to like a hair tie. It's just in the way, but that's just me. And then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And with this, you just pin it where you want it to be. And yeah, super easy. I can see that I have them both in there, but I you can always pull it out and kind of customize them to how you want yet again. So I'm just pulling them out to make them a little bigger, and there you go. Super easy hairstyle. Pull out those front pieces to make it a little more feminine, and then yeah, space buns. And then now on to the second look, I'm going to start again with my hair parted down the middle, but I'm actually going to take a little section from the top. So I'm taking it all on one side and then squaring off, or more so making a rectangle, at the very top of what I would want. We are going to braid this, so we need to be sectioned and even. And so after taking that, I'm going to do it to the other side. You can use a clip. I just always use my mouth out of habit. It's there and it's something that can work and help. And so now I'm doing the other side and I'm making sure they're even. I notice that side's a little too thick. So I take a chunk out and then we are set with our square pieces. Again, holy cow, I need a highlight done. That looks awful. <laughs> And I am just going to start braiding. I'm going to take it into the one side part, take it into three and just go all the way back. I am doing a Dutch braid, so I am actually going under, but you can go either way. If this is something that you might interest you, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And I will do a how-to braid video and kind of show the difference between the braids and how to achieve a better look with one and whatnot. Um, you'll kind of see me struggle on the other side when I'm doing this, 
for some reason, I, complete, I completely shut down and forget what I'm doing when I'm on camera with braiding. And it makes me really anxious. So yeah, I'm just going to have you watch me do this. So now that I've tied both sections off, we are now going to take out the back and then go back to the front and pull the braids apart. And you'll see why we do this a little bit later, but it makes them look a little bigger so it's also going to add a little... Um, I guess the illusion that your bun is going to be a little thicker as well. We're going to do this on both sides. And you can make these as pull it apart as big as you want. Um, just kind of what you would like. And it doesn't have to look even or nice at all. So don't even worry about taking the time to make it look even. Because mine look aren't even like the tad bit even and so now you're going to take the two pieces in the back take one of the sides and go up like a normal you would do in a normal bun and then you're going to create the bun and again since we're just pinning it in place it doesn't have to be perfect And then we're going to take this braid and wrap it around and pin it in place. It's honestly as easy as that. And I know I have a little piece up there that's hanging up, but I'll get that in a little bit. And that's what you do. It's incredibly easy. Both of these looks look very effortless. 
um, yet again, my goal is to kind of show you guys videos that you can create on your own without difficulty in about 15 to 20 minutes so you don't have to spend like hours on your hair in the morning like I normally do. Um, so yeah. And you just spin it around. The best part about this is you can customize and make them as big as you want. And honestly, buns are so forgiving that no matter what happens, they're always going to look cute. Now I'm just kind of pulling them apart, taking the braid, and then I'm just wrapping it around. And then I'm going to pin it in place. And there you go. You have your braided space buns. Alright guys, thank you. Alright guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I hope these two quick, easy ways on doing space buns helps you out. Just something different and creative. If you guys like seeing videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below saying what you'd like to see next. Until then, I will see you guys later. And I'm putting her down for a nap. Bye. Oh, and before, because I know, well, some people ask me on videos. Um, this top is from KB and Co. It is from a boutique that I own in I uh, not own. I go to in Lawrence to shop at. In the back, is that? Isn't that cute? Yeah. So yeah, that is all for today's video. Um, and we will see you next time. Say bye. Say bye. No, we're tired. All right. Bye, guys.